Greetings friends, this is Mark David, founder of the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Today's topic, a highly unique way to let go of weight. Every time I talk about weight loss, I wish I could just download all the information, experience and wisdom that lives in my brain and put it right into your brain so we can make this whole weight loss thing happen faster. But I think life has something different in store for all of us when it comes to this thing called weight loss. And that's because there's really no such thing as fast and easy weight loss. For sure, you'll always hear stories about this person or that person who shed a bunch of weight in a short amount of time. Yes, they exist, but they by far and away are the exception to the rule. How do I know this? Simply by looking around me. I've literally been listening to people talk about weight loss since I was a small child. And since those times, the world has gained a lot more weight. So whatever it is we're doing, it doesn't work. I think it's a great idea to let go of our quest for the quick fix weight loss solution and focus on the slow road. Why not? Remember who won the race between the hare and the tortoise? Slow and steady is a very good pace when it comes to making most any change in life. We tend to underestimate this thing called slow. Oftentimes we're afraid of it. We think it's gonna hold us up. We think it's gonna waste our time. And if indeed you believe that, then how has your quick fix, fast and furious weight loss strategies work for you? Chances are they haven't. That's why I'm gonna share with you a highly unique way to let go of weight that you might not have expected. It takes a little more time, just a little more effort. But I wanna to suggest to you that it's a foolproof strategy. I'm gonna promise you that if you try it, you will undoubtedly be lighter. Here's this highly unique weight loss strategy. Lighten up. When I say lighten up, what I mean is stop being so heavy. Stop weighing yourself down. Notice all the places in your world where you walk around feeling burdened, where you take on more than you need to, where your attitude is heavy like a ball and chain, and where you simply adopt an air of heaviness. Now, so many people say, you know, I wanna lose weight so I can feel lighter. Great, makes sense, I agree. It's a perfect reason to lose weight, but here's the trick you can start to become lighter right now. It's all about doing an inventory of your life and seeing the places where you're creating self-chosen heaviness. Sometimes we might create heaviness by being apathetic. Sometimes we might create excess heaviness through pessimism. Sometimes we create heaviness by holding on to disappointments. Sometimes we create heaviness by holding on to judgment, whether it's self or others. Sometimes we create heaviness by hating on people who we believe have done us wrong and just never letting that go. Sometimes we create heaviness because we keep on being angry at the world. We can also create heaviness by constantly feeling like we're a victim of life. Or we can create heaviness by all the negative stuff that's going on inside our heads. A lot of people create heaviness because we stand on the sidelines and we've taken ourselves out of the game of life. Sometimes we can generate heaviness because we stay in jobs or relationships or friendships or whatever situations that weigh us down. And we need to either change our attitude or our strategies or simply graduate and find something different. So here's a question. Where do you have self-chosen heaviness in your life? Does it serve you? Does it further the action for you? Has it actually helped you lose actual weight? Self-chosen heaviness has one predictable outcome. Makes us feel heavy. And the heavier we feel, I'm gonna suggest, the easier it is to hang on to weight and not let it go. Now, if you haven't noticed, we're moving into the realm of mind-body science here. We're moving into some of the unchartered territories where what we think, what we feel, what we believe, and the stories we tell ourselves have a dramatic impact on our whole physiology. And let me remind you, my friends, don't wait for science to catch up and prove to you the things that you know deep down inside are intuitively 
true and correct. So I'd like to suggest for you a homework assignment. Take an inventory on paper or on the computer of all the places in life where you feel heavy. Be exhaustive in creating this list. Think of persons, places, things, thoughts, feelings, experience, foods that make you feel heavy. From there, begin to shift them and let them go as best you can. Choose one thing to work on first. Choose to lighten up. You'll feel lighter and you'll give your body the best chance to actually be lighter. I hope this was helpful, my friends. To learn more, go to psychologyofeating.com. The Institute for the Psychology of Eating offers the most innovative and inspiring professional trainings, public programs, conferences, online events, and much more. Through our Eating Psychology Coach Certification Training, you can grow a new career and help your clients break through the most compelling eating challenges of our times. If you're focused on your own eating and health, the Institute offers a great selection of one-of-a-kind opportunities to take a big leap forward in your relationship with food. We are proud to be international leaders in online and live educational events that are designed to create the breakthroughs you want most. Our professional and public programs are powerful, results-oriented, and embrace all of who we are as eaters. I'm talking body, mind, heart, and soul. For questions, you can always email us at info at psychologyofeating.com. We'll be sure to get back to you real soon. This is Mark David, founder of the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Thank you so much for your time and interest.